being England cricketers, we've been fairly used to over the years uh, having fairly fluctuating performances on the field. So uh, it's nothing new for us. It's something we're not happy about. But uh, um, yeah, the morale's very high. We're looking forward to the uh, must-win game um, come Thursday, Friday, whenever it is. You know, I'm a Newcastle United fan, and, and they always tend to play well against the b bigger teams. Um, when it really matters and, and this England team seems to be mirroring what Newcastle do in the Premier League so um, come Thursday, Friday it should be it's obviously the biggest game in the tournament for us now um, up to this point and uh, yeah normally that brings the best out of us so hopefully we can like I say get both facets of the game together the batting and the bowling Yeah I suppose so it's, it's something we'd look to emulate because in that 2020 World Cup we um, I, th I think for starters we're a lot more consistent in that than we have been here. We didn't start fantastically well, but um, we were genuinely hampered by the weather there. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's the role that that's the model. So that we're going to look to copy in this World Cup because there's no point, um, like I say, crying over spilt milk about the two games we've lost. Um, we just need to win four big games now and then uh, go home victorious. Uh, well, we're obviously still developing because we're not world champions. If we'd won three World Cups in a row and we were chancing everyone we played, then uh, we could probably say we're not really developing as, as a side. But uh, we've not done that. So, of course, th th we're always looking to develop. The confidence is still high. Like I say, we've, we've played some great cricket over the last two years uh, in patches in one-day cricket. Um, but we know we can beat anybody. We proved that beating South Africa in the way we played against India. It's, uh, it's a matter of putting both facets of our game together. And the team are very confident. You know, it's... Um, it's got to the end of a very long winter and it's, uh, it's the time now that there's no point whinging or moaning about anything. You might as well just get on and do it because uh, the light's at the end of the tunnel, if that makes sense. The, uh, the chance to win that World Cup and then get three or four days in your own bed before the English season starts again. Yeah, it was, it's obviously something that's disappointing looking back. I'm a bit ashamed with, with what happened by my own uh, behaviour. But um, yeah, it, it was the frustrations of, of the whole situation for me. Um, you know, playing a game in the ground with a lot of dew, where the ball gets very wet. It's um, people say it's oh, it's cricket. You should get on with it. You shouldn't have to get on with it. That shouldn't be a part of the game. Um, if you're completely taken out uh, such a facet of the game as spin bowling, then personally, I don't see the point of playing day night cricket in a dew area. But um, on the night, it was um, it was very much just the, my own frustrations. It was nothing personal against the umpires. I apologised almost immediately when I realised. Uh, what a child I just acted like. So um, it's onwards and upwards from here. I think we'd be crazy if the wicket is like that not to play two spinners. But the, again, I'm never interested with any, uh, any, any role on the management committee of our team. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. But I think the, the way we played against South Africa, I mean, the team we had was, was well balanced for that pitch. So um, if the pitch is similar, I'm sure um, it'll be a fairly similar time. Um, I, I suppose the, the West Indies have got some very destructive players. Um, Chris Gale's always an exciting guy to, to bowl against. Uh, Kieran Pollard, I've not bowled too much against him, but it's obviously a, a big draw over in India because of the size of, of the shots he plays. So um, they've got some fine players. It'll be up to us to, uh, to make sure we're on top of our game.